Okay, so in continuing Black History Month and the celebration of Black artists throughout Art History Day, we're going to talk about Jay Jarrell. Again, these are just brief little snippets, so feel free to look up these fabulous artists and learn more about them. Jay Jarrell was born in 1935. Uh, she completed her Master's of Fine Arts at the School of the Art Institute of Chicago. She's a really fantastic and interesting artist. Uh, she is not just a visual artist, she also is a, a leader who helps develop some artistic movements that are a big part of the civil rights movement in the 1960s. So let's learn a little bit about her. Jay Jarrell, she's an artist and fashion designer. She was very involved with the black arts movement, which was very prominent in the 1960s. She's also a founding member of another group called Afra Cobra. So that's A-F-R-I and all caps C-O-B-R-A. And uh, that stands for the African Commune of Bad Relevant Artists. As part of their manifesto, Jarrell strove to provide positive representation of the African diaspora. If you're not familiar with the word diaspora, it's a good one to um, investigate further and learn more about. Basically, it refers to a group of people who have been um, relocated, often against their will or displaced from their homeland. Okay, so we often when we're looking at black artists talk about the African diaspora, African American artists and black artists working in Europe, we're making art that is celebrating their culture. They live and grew up and were born now, but also recognizing the impact and the importance of their roots to their homeland, in this case, Africa. One of the things that she really emphasizes and that Afrocobra really emphasizes is this positive representation of this uh, diaspora, of, of this longing for the African homeland. She wanted to produce garments that were inspired pride, energy, and respect in African-American communities. So one of the things that I think is really impactful and interesting about Jay Jarrell is that she's a visual artist, but she's also making works that can be worn on the body. She's making garments. She has this interest in fashion and she fuses ideas from more formalistic, less practical aspects of the modern art movement in the way that she uses color and the way that she uses shape and the way that she uses line into these wearable art pieces. And all of it is just this resounding kind of joyful pride in that African heritage. So her work is very powerful and very beautiful and uh, is one part of this larger movement that she was a big part of. So definitely check, check out Jay Jarrell.